Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Microsoft Teams um, and in particular video chat and the control panel. Um, so let's get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is load up Microsoft Teams. From here we'll navigate over on the left hand side to our calendar. Um, I'm just going to set up a private meeting for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to click the Meet Now button. Um, from here, I will deactivate my camera and use my Turtle Beach headphones as the audio source and click Join. Right, so now we're in a video chat meeting. Um, obviously, I am the only participant currently. And if we wanted to, we could invite additional people just here. Um, but for now, I'll just give that a close. Um, we are here to talk about the task panel just here, the, or control panel just here. Um, so a lot of people within the team have been coming to me and asking how they can make this um, be hidden or how to hide it and how to basically remove it um, from the screen whilst they're having their video chat. And usually you would have um, multiple participants, right? Say there'd be four or five um, cameras. By default, there'll be four people um, with their v video feeds coming straight into this screen. And this particular control panel um, basically blocks um, that feed. Also, um, if someone is sharing their desktop and you have this um, control panel basically just hovering above their demonstration or their um, presentation if they're presenting PowerPoint, um, obviously it gets in the way and distracts from the actual presentation that you're, you're doing. Um, so the easiest way to actually make this um, control panel disappear is to stop moving your mouse for starters. Um, and if you do that for a few seconds, it will disappear. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do um, is actually move, completely layer remove. So if I just um, bring this down, take our mouse and actually move it over to the side, off the screen. When it's off the screen, the control panel will disappear. Okay. And when it disappears, I can move my mouse anywhere off of Teams and it will not reactivate that control panel until my cursor enters back into the Microsoft Teams window. Um, so if you have um, multiple monitors going on, for example, and you wanted to continue working while someone is presenting or having a video conference on one screen whilst um, having Excel open or PowerPoint open, Publisher, um, or whatever else you may have on another monitor, you could continue working on that other monitor and still have um, an eye on that presentation or um, desktop sharing or whatever it may be within your video chats without that control panel getting in your way. Um, unfortunately, there is no um, functionality yet that built into Microsoft Teams to actually allow us to select hide um, on this particular option. Uh, and it, it is a bit problematic and, and hopefully Microsoft Teams um, with the wider community highlighting this as an issue um, will come up with some functionality to let us actually minimize that um, control panel off of the screen completely. Um, with that being said, there is a different type of control panel that you can see um, within Microsoft Teams. Um, and that is, if I just share my desktop and just remove that one, um, I'll just pull it over here. This um, little control panel appears when you are sharing your desktop or sharing a particular screen. Um, and what this does is it lets you toggle between your camera being on, your microphone being muted, um, and it also lets you stop sharing um, your um, screen or presentation, etc. And um, it's quite an important function, obviously. You can be able to control what's actually happening within your video chat. Now, there is a little minimize icon here, so we can actually just minimize that, and it will take it away from your screen altogether and just puts it into the taskbar um, within the actual video chat itself, so we can bring it back that way. The other thing we can do, obviously, is as you saw, is we can just move this around, uh, move it completely off of the screen wherever we need to. So if we have multiple monitors, we can move this to the different monitor, um, so the one that is being shared um, is obviously still visible only to 
um, the people that matters. So the other thing to bear in mind is when you see this on your desktop and you're sharing your desktop, everyone else will also see this. Um, so it's quite important to, to minimize that one out of the way. The other one that appears is when you hover across the top here. Um, and this one obviously lets you see what kind of mode you're in. So we're in presenting mode currently and we can give control over um, and if I had more participants, we'd see who we, uh, there'll be a drop down menu here to select one of the participants to give control over your, um, of your computer over to them. Um, and obviously you can take it away and give it uh, and so forth. And we can obviously stop the presentation from here in the same way that we can stop it from here um, just by not, um, or by stop sharing um, up here, stop presenting. They are one in the same. Um, control functions okay so by clicking stop presenting is the same as stop sharing so I'll just click stop sharing and that brings us back into the main video chat um, and as I said this one here unfortunately you can't minimize it like you can the other control panel um, but just by not moving your mouse it will disappear or by moving your mouse off of the screen give it a few seconds and it will disappear um, and you can obviously control your mouse off of the uh, team's window um, just like you would uh, regularly and be able to control any other apps that you have running on multiple monitors. So hopefully you guys found this um, useful. It's, um, it's a little bit disappointing that we can't just minimize um, this particular control panel like we can the other. Um, but hopefully you guys found it useful, uh, some hints and tips. And um, if you did, please hit the like button um, and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to hit the bell notification as you'll get notified of future videos and hints and tips that I produce for um, Excel, Word, Outlook, Planner, um, Flow, Teams, etc. Um, but that's it, guys. Hopefully you found it useful, and I'll catch you in the next one.